Today, I'm back with another mega unboxing and review for you all. Today, I'm going to be showing you all the exclusive Best Buy Steelbook Edition of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. I'm going to open up this Steelbook and show you all what you can expect to find on the inside of this one. Also, what the quality of the 4K disc is in terms of visuals and audio presentation. Also, what special features you can find on the Blu-ray, what the price of this Steelbook was, also, my general thoughts on the movie overall and my recommendation on if this one is actually worth the money. So let's get right into this one. Let's look at the front artwork. Let's actually take the J card off first to see it a little bit more clearly. So here is our front cover. And wow, Marvel, I'm very disappointed in you. This still book's looking kind of lame. Very simple. You just got Doctor Strange there uh, front and center. And then I guess he's kind of mirrored uh, to the side uh, on both sides. But really nothing to this. I mean, is that supposed to kind of represent like a mirror, you know, multiverse dimension, I guess. But how lame. Wow, we could have done a lot better. Where's all the coloring? Like this movie has a lot of colors in it and should have a little bit more pizzazz to the front cover artwork, but it's like just, what, a couple colors there? Um, mainly just gray on the sides? I mean, it just looks so boring and just, ooh, what? is going on with this front cover. I mean, when you compare this to the Sony releases of Morbius and Spider-Man No Way Home, I mean, those covers have fantastic artwork. Marvel, you're slacking on us again. I mean, oh my goodness. So yeah, front cover, really disappointed by this. Does not capture the movie at all. And yeah, just could have been a lot better. So disappointed in that. Let's take a look at the spine. Yeah, spine. Pretty simple, but that font is so tiny. I mean, we gotta gotta get in there, gotta zoom it up. Wow, so tiny that font. How am I gonna find this in the other stacks of my still books on the shelf? That's wow. Could they have not made that title like bigger and kind of spaced it out a little bit more to take up the rest of the spine? Wow, it's like little details like that that they're missing here. Oh, in the back we get the Scarlet Witch. Yes, Wanda. Great to see here on the Steelbook, of course, but once again, it's just like the Doctor Strange image, but we only get two Scarlet Witch faces, and it's like, oh, kind of a sad face, even more of a sad face, not that much light here, and yeah, just kind of boring colors on the side, like, what? What is going on with this Steelbook already? I mean, oh my gosh, Marvel, once again, the back isn't anything really better than the front. I mean, actually the front's probably a little bit better than the back, that's that's bad. Yeah, because the front isn't good at all. And the back, really lame. Once again, this does not scream Doctor Strange in the multiverse of madness. Where's the madness in this artwork? No, nothing special here so far. But let's open it up. Let's see if we get something better on the inside. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, let's open this up. Uh, so, of course, you do get the digital code in here, which is nice. And let's take a look on the inside first with just the disc and the disc holders. Okay, all right. Let, let's, let's pop off these discs and just kind of look about them a little bit closer. So, you can always zoom in if you want. So, here is the 4K disc. At least we get, you know, a scene from the movie. You can see Doctor Strange on it. Better than nothing, better than just being plain or having the title. So, it's something. Is it the greatest artwork in the world? No, but uh, it's better than the front cover, I can tell you that. Alright, maybe they should have just put that image on the front cover, actually. Alright, let's take a look at the Blu-ray now. If we can even get these Blu-rays out, because I don't know what it is with these disc holders. It's like the Blu-ray just takes a lot more work to pop off. Alright. Then we got the Blu-ray, we got Scarlet Witch, Wanda on this one. Uh, yeah, cool scene from the movie. Once again, nothing super special or unique uh, in terms of this. But yeah, at least they have something on it, just not plain, just not a title. So better than nothing and still better than the back cover of the still book. So maybe she should have gone with this image on the back, you know? Uh, I can say that at the least, but let's take a look at the inside. Uh, without the disc, we can see the artwork. Okay, so, yeah, we get the, uh, I believe it's called, like, the Book of Ashanti, right? Um, and then also we have, or is that the, 
Yeah, I think that's uh, that book. Or that's the book that uh, they use for extra powers. And then we have the Doctor Strange uh, statue here. I mean, okay, at least it has something on the inside. Because, yeah, it could have been nothing on the inside. That would have been awful. Uh, so there's something on the inside. But once again, it's nothing too exciting. And it's all gray and boring. Like, when I look at this movie from the front, from the back, I open it up. It just screams, Oh, this is a dull movie. This is not going to be a good time at all. It's like, yeah, I okay. I mean, wh why though? I just, yeah, could have done better. Could have done better on the inside. Could have done even a little bit better on the disc and could have even done a lot better on the front cover and the back cover. I mean, let's, let's open it up together. Let's see if it flows together, like how the Sony ones were flowing together so nicely. Uh, I still think back to the Morbius and Spider-Man No Way Home still books. Those flow together so good with the front and back. No, these do not flow together at all. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Just completely two separate images do not flow together at all with this still book. It's little details like that. It's little details like that where I'm like, why? Why? What are we doing here, Marvel MCU? I know you care about the Disney Plus platform. That's probably where you put in all the work. But for us physical media collectors, we want we want a little bit more. So when I get things like this, it makes me automatically think, maybe I shouldn't even collect the Marvel Steelbooks anymore. Should I just be watching you know, uh, just the regular slip cover or Blu-ray or, you know, maybe even just stream it, right? Um, you know, I'm a collector. I want to collect the awesome still books, but we got to do better. Got to do better than this Marvel uh, for this. But let's look. Maybe we can redeem ourselves. Let's look at the J card and see what, you know, is contained on all of these, uh, these discs. So you can zoom in if you want to, to kind of check out all the specs there. But I'll talk a little bit about the 4K uh, presentation here. So you are getting uh, the 4K disc with the HDR. So you get a wide color spectrum uh, on there. So I was playing the 4K disc. It did look really nice. You can see all the details, you know, all the strands of hair, all the, you know, pores on people's faces, all the colors in the background, especially when they go to other uh, different multiverses. Uh, you can really see some good details in the background that I could not see before just watching it on the theater screen. So definitely a lot of good details picked up with the 4K and also the coloring just looks so nice with the HDR because there's a lot of different colors in this movie. So I don't know why they didn't put all those colors on the still book, but there are definitely some uh, different interesting colors in the movie. So it shines through really nicely with the HDR. So no complaints on the 4K visual presentation there. You also get the Dolby Atmos stand, uh, soundtrack, which is pretty standard now with these big blockbuster movies releasing the 4K. So yeah, Dolby Atmos uh, sounds great. Had no issues with uh, with that soundtrack at all. Yeah, especially, you know, a lot of those scenes, there's a lot of different unique uh, sounds in them and the music and everything uh, really pops with Dolby Atmos. So it's great to have that included there. But I have to let you all know with my 4K disc, I did have issues on it, more issues than any other 4K disc ever. And I don't know why I got to bring I got to get this 4K disc just to show you. Okay, yeah, so 4K disc. Looks like it's going to play fine. I always take care of these very nicely, you know, uh, and I even, you know, uh, it, so it looks like it's going to play fine, right? No, no, no. This movie stopped halfway through on the 4K disc would not work. I, I, I don't know what happened with it. I've seen 4Ks before pause or skip a little bit, but then they eventually keep going. No, this movie could not be played all the way through get all messed up on the screen and it just it wasn't working for me you know I took it out clean it with a you know a microfiber uh, cleaning uh, towel um, you know one that's good for the disc still didn't work after that so I I don't know what's wrong with this disc it's not my player because I played other movies in it um, and those work just fine so something with my disc came messed up Oh my goodness, very disappointed. I don't, uh, it's just, yeah. So really disappointed I couldn't play this 4K all the way through. But from what I saw, from halfway I could play it through, it did look really nice and sounded great. 
but then I had to switch over to the Blu-ray and play the Blu-ray the rest of the half through. So you could tell the difference with the 4K and the Blu-ray. I definitely could see more details in the 4K, absolutely. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, I had bug, I have bad luck in this situation where my disc didn't play all the way through. So hopefully you don't get that bad luck and hopefully your discs work. I would say definitely check them out, test them out, see that they do work. But yeah, I had to let you all know that quick little story because, yeah, I've never had a 4K just completely not be playable halfway through. Yeah, I've had them pause, skip, but nothing that bad. All right, now that my little venting rant is over on the disc, let's get back to what this disc contains. Let's look at the special features here. So you get the special features on the Blu-ray disc. We get constructing the multiverse, uh, follow the rider, uh, in a journey in creating the story, you get a method to the madness. Marvel crew, uh, crew members um, describe why the film is uniquely Sam Raimi. Uh, you do get Sam Raimi, I believe, uh, speaking in there as well. You also get in uh, introducing America Chavez. Uh, yes, you uh, meet Solchi Gomez and learn America's origin story in the comics. But those are really, really short feature reds. I mean, they're really quick. They only feel like a few minutes long. And it's just really three of those feature reds. So once again, Marvel, what are you doing here for us physical media collectors? Slacking on the feature reds. I mean, one of the big things I buy physical media for is the special features. I mean, I'm not asking for, you know, three hour documentaries here, but give me something a little bit more uh, really disappointed on uh, those special features. Yeah, you do get a gag reel, you get deleted scenes. It's only a few deleted scenes though. So yeah, nothing too special with the deleted scenes either. Uh, you get an audio commentary if you like commentaries, but really bare bones on special features. Uh, unfortunately um, for us that really like the special features. I mean, to me, that's a big selling point of physical media. So when you don't give me a lot of special features, I do get disappointed and once again, the Sony releases, yeah, they weren't perfect on special features, but they were way better than these Marvel ones. Uh, so, yeah, so, so disappointed. But once again, let's just take a uh, look at this one. Yeah, this is what this looked like when it came in. Uh, so disappointed. So overall, I mean, if your disc works, the 4K presentation looks, sounds great, but we're lacking special features here. This artwork is absolutely just something else, uh, terribleness. So yeah, the slip covers look a lot cooler than this. So wow, all around just, nah, this this was not a great one to buy, but I'm trying to complete the Steelbook collection. So can I recommend this one uh, for the price here? I mean, this one I believe I bought, uh, was it $34.99, that $35 buck range, I think it was. And that's a pretty hefty price for something that's not really, you know, has much to it, lacking a lot of details here. And yeah, in the 4K disc not even working. So a lot of issues here uh, with this physical media release, at least for me. Just wasn't a fan and wasn't too impressed. Now, in terms of the movie, I do have full-on detailed discussion videos and reviews of the movie, which I'll link that in the description below. A whole bunch of Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness videos if you want my in-detail thoughts. But just a quick little overview of the movie. Uh, the movie, just like this still book, I was disappointed with. Uh, the title says Multiverse of Madness, so I was expecting more multiverse and more madness. We did not get that, uh, so I was a little underwhelmed by the movie. But if you erase the title, you just take the movie for what it is, and you call it, say, a Doctor Strange 2. I think the movie's decent. It's fun enough. There's cool actions and visual sequences. I think a lot of the creature designs and the battle uh, fighting choreography was all done really well. And so I thought it looked cool so i thought the movie was put together well in that aspect but to me the the story the writing just overall where this movie was going i felt once again it just kind of was uh lackluster very underwhelming and so even though i thought it was decent and i can have fun with it to me it's not top tier mcu 
to me it's more mid-tier mcu but once again it's not all bad there's cool things in it all the sam raimi horror elements makes it something different and unique so i really like that so there definitely are some cool things in the movie but overall just once again it's not that top tier mcu that i was hoping for so yes movie overall underwhelmed by still book overall underwhelmed by wow and then just the disc playing the disc because it couldn't play all the way through underwhelmed by marvel mcu disney best buy i don't know you, whoever you want to you know put the blame on here let me down you let me down on this one this one i cannot recommend for its price so leave in the comments below, what did you think of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness? And do you plan on picking up a physical media release of this movie? And which edition are you getting? And if you're just discovering the channel for the very first time and you love collecting physical media and being part of this amazing mega fan community, make sure you subscribe right now to stay entertained and up to date on all the latest physical media topics. Look, there has to be another way. There isn't. And if you like this physical media topic video, click another video to see more. Also, like the video, and this is Mega Mike the Movie Man reminding you to make every day a movie day.